We're now going to talk about cranial nerve number eight, the vestibulocochlear nerve. All right, the vestibulocochlear nerve has the following origin and course. Some of the anatomy we need to cover is first the cochlea. And so the cochlea is this special sensory organ that is found within the petrous portion of the temporal bone. Its whole purpose is to take the sound waves that uh, come through into the cochlea and transduce that into an electrical chemical impulse to send via the cranial nerve eight to the pons. There's our cochlea. Then the semicircular canals are three um, semicircles, hence the name semicircular canals, that are, are in perpendicular orientation to each other. And within that is fluid that moves the way, um, whenever we move our head, that then moves and pushes along these hair cells, which send information to the brain, as well as the vestibule portion, send uh, these fluid messages are transduced to an electrical chemical impulse, cranial nerve carries that to the pons, and then our that's where our brain uh, helps to uh, coordinate our balance, our, our equilibrium, pardon me. The next portion is the internal acoustic meatus, and that is the canal within the petrous part of the temporal bone where seven and eight course. Um, and you can always see the opening in the internal surface of the skull. Then there's the course of cranial nerve eight from the cochlea and the vestibule all the way over uh, through the internal acoustic meatus and coming to the pons. And that's the portion of the brain stem where the nuclei are located for cranial nerve number eight. Um, and so there we have the anatomy, cochlea, semicircular canals, IAM stands for internal acoustic meatus, and there's cranial nerve number eight. So there's the origin and course of the nerve. Let's talk about the function. The overall function of cranial nerve eight is special sensory, SS, for hearing imbalance, because the only place we have hearing imbalance receptors are in the head, the special cranial nerve eight. The special cranial nerve eight will then uh, conduct this information. So let's take a look hearing first. So sensory neurons from the cochlea course through the internal acoustic meatus over to the cochlear nuclei of the pons, and that's where we coordinate, uh, and that's where um, the integration of sound occurs. Then we have, for balance, uh, neurons from the vestibule come across the internal acoustic meatus to the vestibular nuclei, and that's where the um, integration of our balance occurs for our equilibrium. These nuclei, of course, are found not only in the pons, but they also descend all the way down into the medulla oblongata. They play many functions from equilibrium, balance, proprioception, and also for uh, coordination of our eye movements. So there we have special sensory function of vestibular cochlear nerve hearing and balance. And now clinical finding. That's what happens if we then lesion that nerve. We will lose our hearing and lose our balance or give us equilibrium problems such as vertigo. And that's cranial nerve 8. Thank you very much.